Hola, I'm Lorenzo Hagerman, DOP of ELI, Amates Calantes Film, which is in competition in Cannes this year, 2013. Of course, I, I saw all, all the films of Amat, the two films before and the short film. And I was aware of a, a style in, in Amat's language. And the first day of shoot, just before starting the first scene, Amat told me, come, I, have, I want to have a small chat with you. So we went out to have a walk. And he told me, look, I want this film to look different from my other films. So, but that was just uh, some minutes before. So I went to it like a small crisis because I had like all this vision of, uh, of what, what we were going to do. Of course, we had a lot of talk about this, the look and everything, but that uh, put me in a situation where I had to do things that I was not expecting to do. Basically, we, the script has a lot of description of the lights, how the light enters the house, in which scenes, and so we took some reference of uh, some paintings that we like, and uh, we were looking for to shoot with lots of information and then have the final decision in post-production, but it was had to be a, more like a contrast kind of image. And, uh, and also, I always say that the, the, the method you use shooting defines all the look more than trying to find a look and then... So I like to work with available lights and it was, that was something that we decided from the very beginning. So that was going to give the look, the working with whatever we have in, in hand and working with a, non-professional actors, you cannot plan a lot. When they are ready, they are ready, and you have to be ready all the time. It's not like, wait a second, I need to... Uh, sometimes they, we had to improvise, and Matt likes a lot to improvise. Uh, the camera was coming from Germany because of co-production uh, logistics. So I couldn't have the camera until one week before only. And I was really worried about, well, how it will be. It's a complex camera that you have to understand. It will take me some days. And it's a very simple camera. It's just like working with a 35. You don't have too much of options. And I used to work in 35 millimeters. And in this transition to digital, there were lots of uh, disappointments. And with Alexa, the, the first day when the Alexa came, we took the Alexa to the set, turned it on, and it was fan fantastic, the reaction of light and the latitude of, of the light. We had huge windows on, the, on one of the sides, and I was worried about the contrast inside, outside. We, don't, we didn't have support light, so uh, that was the first thing to check. And, uh, the image turned fantastically well. I, I, we felt this was on the pre-production that we had the right choice and the good, a good camera. Both Amat and I were really, really happy. Never wasting time in uh, or you know gear on trying to get contrast on the on the way of the the way we were working. So that was fantastic. I think it, it was a, a very nice way of working, and I like that. To, to be, uh, to have all the support of a good camera and a good gear, and then you don't think about it anymore in the shooting. So you can concentrate on framing and telling a story and having, you know, a continuity in language and to be expressive and not all the time worrying about technical, technical issues. There were two different kind of uh, night shots. Uh, the ones that are like urban, with the light of the street or the light of a you know, car. And the, we could have some available light on the street. And uh, the village was very supportive. And they told us where were the, to turn on and off some lights on the background. So we could, could control some of the street lights and then have some support with a, a regular bulb, you know, 
the, the old kind of bulb, uh, 100 watts and a dimmer, so we could, we could have some uh, support light, uh, in the, especially with the close frames. And that was it, a bulb and, and, and maybe the, a little the inside the car. There are several things at night inside the car. It was lit in with the, with the light of the car, the 12 volts, small. And the reaction of the camera was surprisingly good. And the lenses were fantastic also. High speed, uh, master prime, uh, Carl size lens, beautiful lens. And we were shooting a lot with very uh, open Fs, uh, diaphragms, with l very little focus. And the reaction of the lenses is fantastic also. It was, we loved the, from the very beginning, when the lens came, we put the camera, set it, everything, take the camera to the set, and the first images, without doing anything, they were what we were in, visualizing for months, or we had visualized for months. And then the, the discussion about codex came. That was a budget-wise discussion. How a, a film like Ellie, which is not a strong effect, even though it has effects, but it's not a strong effect film, if it's worth shooting with codex. And I talked a lot, a lot with the producers, telling them, well, information is, I'm working with available light, we are working with non-professional actors, we don't know the, at the end of the day which will be the light situation, and we have lots of night shots with very low light, so if we can afford codex, I think it's a good idea to go. And one year later, when we were doing post-production, I had a, a great uh, raider who had, has been working 30 years on, first in the lab, now in digital. And we were in one of the shots where it's all lighting with a flashlight. And uh, we could move a lot, still the image. And I asked him, do you think if this was shot on the card, on the SX card, we, that if we could achieve what we are achieving? And he told me, no, I guess not. Because if you need to invent information later, that's expensive and it never comes out good. Alexa was an incredible choice. Uh, Ahmad had seen uh, uh, some tests before. And he talked to me about the test and we did uh, together some research. He, he was very, uh, uh, he took, well, he was very keen to work with Alexa and proposed me at the very beginning, take a look to Alexa. And it was immediately, it was uh, something that we, uh, that I accepted and, uh, and it was the best decision.